Hey, Shalom. It's GMS Holland. Yeah. GMS Camp Holland, out here in the highways and byways again. We give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to you. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Basham, Rakakadash. Basham, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that's spreading this word of sincerity and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Uh, so as you see, we out there in the highways and byways again doing the will. We all Basham, Yahweh Shai, like we're supposed to do in these last days, man. You know, we. we it's the last stretch, so we, we gotta push, you know, for the for the for the last couple of seconds, man. You know, because soon this truth is, is not gonna be out there in the highways and byways no more. Soon this is gonna be terror and destruction all around you, man. You know, and I told the brothers I was just live with um, the brother from Germany. I told the brothers like 10 minutes, give me 10 minutes to set up the camp. So here we are, man. So let's start off <coughs> with um, with Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Let's start off with that. Let me read, let me read this real quick. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So we are approaching the time of Jacob's trouble, man. We are approaching that time, and it's not gonna be an easy time, man. People, give me that scripture more. It's uh, Amos chapter 5. Hey, Shalom. Yeah, woe unto him that desired the day of the Lord, man. Because it's not going to be an easy time, man. You're going to have people in distress, people in anguish, misery, all over the place, man. Bodies on top of bodies, okay? But the man of the Lord, they're going to walk up brightly, they're going to be defended, okay? They're going to be taken care of. Like the scripture says, give me that in um, Sirach chapter 2. First, um, what is it again? Verse 18, I think. Sirach chapter 2. This is uh, Amos. Start at, uh, start at uh, 9. Yeah, read the Amos and then... No, this is Amos 5, verse 18. <laughs> Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Yeah, what end is the day of the Lord to you, man? Are you doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and true friend and sincerity, which the word sincerity goes into without hypocrisy? You see, are you doing that? There's a lot of vain talkers, man, especially those of the circumcision, like the scripture says, man. A lot of people deceiving other people, you know, teaching false doctrines, and they think it's just a light thing, man. Give me, give me that in Galatians chapter 1. It's not a light thing, man. To teach false doctrines is not a light thing. So the scripture says, Woe unto him that desire the day of the Lord. Not talking about the man of the Lord that are doing this work, you know, in truth and in sincerity, but talking about the people that are actually doing it in mischief. People that are serving their own belly. People that are, you know, uh, um, how do you say that? Um, filthy Lucas sake. Doing it for filthy Lucas sake. Okay. And wickedness. Woe unto them, man, which the word woe goes into lamentation, which lamentation is something you do when people is dying left and right, man. I got that. Your sons, your daughters, your wives going to die, man. And you're going to be the last. You're going to see, you're going to witness all those things, man. That's pure suffering, man. And you always see that in these movies, man. All the family members going to get, get mm -hmm. killed to hurt the person that needs to be hurt, man. Yeah. You know, that's what the enemy always does. He kills all your family members, so you feel that pain, and then he kills you. You see? That's what's going to happen, man. Because you, you're not supposed to take this truth and, and just turn, into a, turn it into a, a business. Mm -hmm. You have people that do that, man. Turn it into a business. You're not supposed to do that, man. Ain't put no donation uh, thing uh, link under your uh, uh, channel neither, man. Mm -hmm. Because who, who do we learn from? We learn from the elder apostles of Great Millstone. That's right. That's who we give tithes to. Okay? We give tithes unto them. We don't need no tithes, man. We don't need no donations. Give double honors unto them. If you give double honors to the elder apostles, then you should, should give your money unto them also. Because the scriptures speak about that he that give it to you spiritually is, is allowed to reap carnally from you. Mm -hmm. Which is carnally is talking about a way that he is able to sustain himself. You know, he needs to come online, he needs to go live, he needs to have the, the ability to, to take care of the fuck, man. That's by right. making his videos, by sending out these epistles. You see? Yeah. If I may 
you say something and the people that put that donation uh, button on underneath the, the link those are the ones that are be driving the biggest cars you know they don't have any any financial problems but they just throw it out there you know mm -hmm. to, to receive uh, yeah, the tithes. Get some extra. yeah and the and then, says woe unto him or uh, thou shalt not make my father's house a house of merchandise man and in psalms uh, 23 it says uh, buy the truth and sell it not i got the other one yeah but you have uh, psalms 23 it says um that you know you shall not want because when when you when yahweh bashem yahushai deals with you then you are at peace you are a peaceful person you don't want too much you know you you you, you have gratitude for what you have but you're not greedy a man a man of the truth so that's how you can also scan somebody you know when when uh, by his uh, goings yeah like he's not uh, sincere you know because right. this is the thing man if you already are set up by yahweh bashem yahushai with a decent job if you have decent amount of money but then you're trying to get more. You're trying to get more from the on, on the back of the truth. Yo, you need to watch out, man, because the most I might take away your your um, a full income from you. And we seen that happening, man. We saw, we had a guy in this camp. He was um, he had a good good job, man. Two thousand euros a, a month. He had a good job. Uh, his house was a little crib, but he had a roof over his head, and uh, his rent wasn't too high, so he had enough money a, a month. But what did he do? He wanted to get money on the side. He wanted to get this hustle, which there's nothing wrong with the hustle. There's nothing wrong with the hustle, but he was doing sneaky shit, sneaky shit on the side, things that brothers told him you shouldn't make money on that in, in that type of way. Wicked shit. Wicked shit. And he, he still continued doing it, which uh, led towards him losing his, uh, 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 his main income, man. The most was like, oh, you greedy for that small, uh, 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 for those coins, man. You greedy for those coins? Let me take away your main income. You see, that's what the most I can do. That's how the most I can sift. And then he was in real trouble. Then now he had uh, financial troubles, man. Precept. You see, but before that, hey, he was good, man. That shows you that that greed, man. That greed gonna get you destroyed, man. What you have? Proverbs thirty. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 8 Remove far from me vanity and lies Give me neither poverty nor riches Feed me with food convenient for me And the food convenient for you is this truth man And who do you learn this truth from? From the elder apostles on down man So that's who you, who you should get, give double honest to man That's who you should give your, your, um, your respect uh, uh, to man and, and your uh, and your carnal because they are allowed to reap carnally from you man mm -hmm. but hey they are not pushing it upon you you either give or you don't man hey it's up to you man but if you're a man of the lord if you walk in the spirit and truth you you will recognize your teachers man you will see your teachers and you will know like hey they're those are my teachers man let me help them out that's right and that's only that's only brotherly to do and if there's other brothers brothers in financial uh uh uh, uh, uh troubles don't think that we are not going to help them. We help them, man. You know, the other apostles ha had brought out orders in the past to help certain brothers out there in That's the world, right. man. So that does happen. Wait, let me, because this was just a quick side. Uh, yeah, bring out the piece up and then we'll go back. And also the precept. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like to talk about money and carnal stuff because we live in in times it's so serious, man. You know, if you just don't get the financial things, man, then you're not worthy to, to receive the spiritual things neither, man. I had a precept from John that Yahweh Shai came in the house where they're selling, uh, was sold doves, and he threw over the tables. Come, 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 hold that. Come. This is First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11. If we have so known to you spiritual things, is it, <laughs> is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Gone. Exactly. So read that again. First Corinthians chapter nine verse eleven. If we have sown unto you spiritual things. This is the great thing if we shall reap your carnal things. You see, and this was Apostle Paul speaking. Man. If we give you spiritual things, isn't it normal that we then reap your your carnal things? But if you read on, it's gonna say that hey, they didn't come in that spirit, man. They didn't come in that spirit. They just come to teach, and you see that they have nothing because Yahushua said, don't bring staff, food, or nothing, man. Just go to the people and let them take care of you. Because that's the spirit that, that you should be in. But nowadays, we all have jobs, man. We have jobs. We take care of ourselves. We don't expect the, the men that listen to this word to take care of us. So we you know through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, actually, the most I takes care of us, man. He gives us uh, uh, um, uh, our daily bread. You see? He 
gives us our daily bread, man. So, hey, that should be sufficient for you. So, um, give me that Galatians. Galatians? Yeah. Chapter? Chapter 1, verse uh, started 5. Okay. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? This is Galatians chapter 1, verse 5. Can. Uh, can. To whom we uh, be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel, marvel not. I marvel that you are soon removed from him that called you into grace of Yahweh Shai unto an other gospel. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would prefer the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, there are some that trouble you and would prefer the gospel of Yahweh Shai. So we have certain people, they twist and turn the gospel of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, read on. Can. Which, uh, uh, but uh, though we are, uh, we are an angel from heaven, preach another gospel unto you. Then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accused of a cursed. Yeah. So if you come and preach another doctrine unto the people, let that man be a curse, man. That's why I said, man, it's not the light thing, man. Let yeah. that man be a curse. And that curse that's going to come upon you is being destroyed, man. And like the scripture says, the most has is a, a perfect destruction for everyone, man. Give me that in Isaiah 66, I think verse 3. Read your precept. So that's why, that's why I brought this out because... Woe unto him that desire the day of the Lord, man. Because what is it for you? If you've been teaching false doctrines, if you have not been uh, coming to the brothers in sincerity, you know, if you if you uh, hate a brother, you know, that is not uh, supposed to be hated, man. For no reason. The Most High has a, has a special uh, delivery for you, man. <laughs> special, special delivery? I was thinking yeah, about it. Most High has a special <laughs> delivery for you. Special delivery. Special delivery. It's not gonna be. It's not going to be fun for you, man. Woe unto you. This is Second John 1 verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai had not Yahweh. Yeah, you don't have Yahweh where you don't abide in the doctrine. So, so certainly we, we can see uh, through the elder apostles, you know, on down that there are men that don't have the doctrine. Right? Because like it says in the book of Hebrews, you have elderly men that are skilled in the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to discern both good and evil. So because they are skilled in this word, they are able to see like, hey, this guy, he's not teaching this truth. You just come in as a newborn babe, open your eyes to this truth, you'll be like, why are they hating on each other? Mm -hmm. But the, the reason is because they are teaching for filthy Lucas' sake. He is teaching false doctrine. They have to call it out. That's why the scripture says, mark them which cause the fish. You see, and that's what they are doing. But you as a newborn babe, you don't understand what's going on. You don't understand what's happening. But it's for righteousness sake, man. You need to call out them that are teaching false doctrines. Read. And still, uh, if I may, uh, the elder apostle, he marks them. But still, he says, you know, we're all one nation. And he hopes that uh, Nate gets, gets saved, that they come into the kingdom and stuff like that. You know, that's what uh, the elder apostle... Uh, 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 Tahar said himself, but yeah. he has to he has to show the younger brothers like like uh, he, just, he just said He has to mark them so that they don't go into that trap that they don't go into that snare mm -hmm. of, of, right. uh, of these other camps But but, but still that. they're their brothers. We were all Israelites We're so all Israelites man. at uh -huh. the end of the day then he, he still hopes that he gets saved Yeah, and he, he gets saved from this destruction. That's gonna come. That's right You you angry uh, towards these brothers because of the bullshit that they be doing yeah. mm -hmm. But still you hope that they get delivered man and if you say, no, y'all don't hope that they get delivered, then why are we out here in the highways and byways? There's wicked pieces of shit walking mm -hmm. by here, but we're preaching because we hope that they might be delivered, man, by listening to the word and taking heed thereof, man. Okay. Yeah. Is it country? Yeah. This is uh, 2 John 1 and 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, hath not Yahweh. He that abided in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, he had both the Father and the Son. Yeah. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not in your house, neither bid him Yahweh speak, 
Well, he that biddeth him, Yahweh's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Yeah, man. This shows you that you should stay away of, of a person that comes with different doctrines, man. You shouldn't even let him in your house, man. You know, if you all, you know, one on one with him, you know, then you might catch the hell that is going to come upon him, man. If you're rolling around with a drug dealer, don't don't be surprised when you got shot, when he when they're actually coming for him, man. You're sitting in the passenger seat, he... He has a, 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 you know, he has a, a, I say that, he has a bullseye on his head. Don't, don't be surprised that if you roll with him, you're going to get that same bullseye on your head too, man. What has darkness to do with light? You see, you're not supposed to roll around with people like that. Okay, that's why, that's why, you know, you, you will never see a man of IYC and a man of GMS stand in the same camp because we don't agree on each other man as long as we cannot come to the doctrine of uh, to this one doctrine and be of one mind we cannot uh, uh, form one camp man. you see have a precept yeah he you are the precept uh, it's ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 son of man i have made thee a watchman into the house of israel therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me mm -hmm. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Yeah, man, so we, we are here, man, to, to wake up the people, you know, to, if, if the most that allows, man. We just here to, to speak the words. You know, and we speak the words because we want the people to, to uh, uh, turn back to Yahweh Shemir and Shai. And if there was a wick, wicked piece of shit that came here talking all kinds of shit, but two years later comes back and is all humble and meek and really wants to listen, we are not going to kick him, kick him away, man. We're still going to deal with this man, you see? Because it's the Lord's will to, to give him this truth. And it's our duty to, to preach in, in righteousness, okay? Now go back, um, go back to the Amos. Drop it. Yeah, I got another one in Zephaniah. This is uh, Amos 5. First, uh, Zephaniah 1 of 14. Yeah, that's the one I got. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, Amos 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Yeah, the day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Meaning, there's a lot of uh, punishing going to happen. Man. A lot of uh, people going to get their judgment, man. Which that judgment differs from one person to another, man. Now give me the Isaiah. And give me the tissue. Let's <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> <laughs> my nose. Uh, yeah. It's Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. Huh? I also will choose their delusion and will bring their fear upon them. I will choose their delusions and will bring their fear upon them. So the Heavenly Father is going to choose a certain fear or he's going to uh, 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 look at your fear. What do you fear the most? And he's going to jerk you up with that, man. That's why I said there's going to be different types of judgments, man. People going to fall into, into their own snares, man. He that dig the pit shall fall there, man. So, hey. People wish wish death upon certain people, upon brothers that are preaching this word as the Savior and the truth. Okay. <laughs> it was the melancholy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gone. So what was I saying? They, they will bring the the most will bring the, bring their fear from them. Yeah. Yeah, and I said like, uh, yeah, he that digged the pit shall fall therein. Yeah, because you have certain people. And we even know that, that there are people that are trying to uh, uh, cast spells upon us, man. You have people here, you know, walking here. Because here here in the Belmont, you have a lot of jigs, man. You know, a lot of Levites, okay, that, that wish evil upon us, man. That's right. Especially in this other place that we used to stand at. Um, which is Hanzu, mm -hmm. which they, they wrote an article about us talking about yeah that they that they drove us away from that place, which is bullshit. Okay? But they had um, you had them doing rituals, man. They ripping up uh, Bible pages and, and, and tossing it in the wind and making it come over here uh, to the camp man and then the brother stepped on one page.
and then it said uh, something to the fact like their, their blood shall be required. <laughs> hey, so that's a miracle, man. He was like, hey, that's what, that's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Come. Really? They ripped it, up, ripped up the Bible pages in front of us, man. So, so those things is not gonna work, man. The Most High is gonna choose their delusions, man. He's gonna put them, hey, and just like what you see in Naruto, man, you have the, you have the. You have this uh, this uh, this power. He, you you put someone in a in a in a different dimension mm -hmm. where the time goes faster, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then when he comes back, maybe one minute has passed. But he is in this in this in this other dimension. Limbo. Yeah, this kind of limbo where he gets just jacked up and he gets destroyed, man. Hey, Crazy. Certain shit like that. Don't don't think it it doesn't exist, man. That shit yeah, exists, man. man. And that that those things can can come upon you if you go against this truth, man. Yeah. Here it is. You know, you in the time of Jacob's trouble, you get put in that limbo. Hundred days pass, then you, you get out of that limbo. Boom, back in the flesh. You just continue with the con conversation that you had with the man in Jacob's trouble. <laughs> Hundred days have passed. Hey, that is fucked up. And all, and all kinds of shit, man. If a brother on the common board knows that power from. Um, Naruto, where he, um, where he, uh, with the with the shotting gun, right? Damn, how how could I forget that? Yeah, you. <laughs> how, you know, you know how I am. When I don't know a certain word, I go crazy because my mind keeps thinking about it. But yeah, let's just go on. It's numbers twenty-three. I hope a brother. I hope a brother. I hope a brother knows what I, what power I'm talking about. Hey, what is that power of uh, Naruto that he puts? Listen, man. Listen. That power that he puts uh, someone in a limbo. I don't know. Hey, uh, yeah, that's uh, the GMS Germany knows it. Monkey, uh, monkey, Kiro, Sharigan. It's not that. Hey, sorry, Ak. <laughs> so lucky, Ak. No, man, that thing, man. Jutsu. That's not it. Hey, shut up, man. Yeah, I'll watch him. I'll watch him. Rakakadash, Rakata. Okay, reach up, please. From Obito, he said. From Obito. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I understand what he means. Mangeko or Sharingan. He puts him in a limbo. But I mean, just like um, you put someone in a in a. Let's say his arm is on fire, but his arm is not on fire. But he's being tortured, thinking that his arm is on fire, but it's not on fire. So he's being tortured like crazy. You have the fighting, mm -hmm. then you have the, the, the blasting powers and stuff, and then you also have the putting putting the strap on this person's mind. But hey, the point is Genjutsu. Oh, yeah. he knows it now. Eh? <laughs> Genjutsu. Genjutsu. Genjitsu. Yeah, man, Genjitsu, man. Giving a person the thought that something terrible is happening to him. So his mind is really destroying him. You have certain people, their senses are very um, high. So they might get a cut in their hands and their nerve system is so um, um, is so sensitive that actually this cut is not is nothing. But it goes to your mind. And your mind is giving you the feeling that it hurts extremely. Something sometimes you uh, you might um, touch something cold and you think it's hot. Yeah, yeah. They be like, hey, wait, it's, it's just very cold. It's not hot. It's very cold. But it's here in your mind, man. So you how about shimmy on shy because the delusion. Look up the word delusion to back up all these things that I'm saying. You give me your it's, uh, numbers 23, 23. Hey, I'm telling you, man. The reason I get so excited is because you how about shimmy on shy is really gonna do damage to these people out here, man. But then again, the scripture says, don't me, don't don't, um, don't think about how the Most High is gonna punish these uh, wicked. the wicked, but how to how he's gonna deliver uh, the man of the Lord, man. And don't don't get us wrong, we we, we do uh, meditate upon it, but we are not gonna sit and look at a certain person and be like, yeah, I wonder how the Most High is gonna. No, man, we leave it in the hands of the Most High. Y'all bashim y'all shy. How he's gonna jack these people up, man? We leave it in his hands. You know, we will see where where. Where everything is. Okay. You gotta pray for your brothers. You gotta pray that all your brothers that you have in the camp stay together. You know, and, and they, they find each other in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Pray we find each other, and that's the spirit because uh, these 
last couple of years, the most I has brought a group of brothers close together, man. Like you know, you already know who I'm talking about because mm -hmm. uh, we put the GMS Rotterdam in class. Okay, okay. Those are the brothers, man. We live close to each other, so most of brothers close to each other. You know, hey, y'all run this out for, the, for those days, man. This brother already know what he's gonna do, man. He told me once, I said, what you gonna do when the shit hits the fan? He said, drop everything over there and come to, you, come to your house. I said, what well, gonna be at my house? Not gonna be there. But hey, y'all run this out, man. Hey, we get it there now to do the lessons. The are at the side in those days. We get it there to, to um, become pilgrims, man, and survive the time of Jacob Strobe because it's not going to be easy, man. It's not going to be easy. For the man of the Lord, it's going to be um, bearable because the Most High is going to take care of them in those days. But then the scripture says, Woe unto him that desire the day of the Lord, for what end shall it be for him? So you have men, it's not going to be uh, bearable for them, man. So why why the hell would you desire it? For example, these Christians, they be like, the day of the Lord, we want the day of the Lord. What the hell? Why the hell would you desire it, man? Because you're not doing the will, the will of your Abba Shem Yashai. Like it says in Titus, man, can you give, give, give me that Titus uh, 1 and 16? Oh, 1 and 16? Yeah, Titus 1 for 16. Yeah. They profess that they know Yahweh. Hashem Yahushai, but in works they deny him. Yeah, see, so they profess that they know Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, but they don't. Man. They don't. So that gives them this delusion that they are going to be saved, man. But they won't. Okay, we don't. Being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Yeah, they are being abominable and, and, and uh, to every good work reprobate. And they're reprobating against the good work, man. Mm -hmm. Which this is the good work, the gospel. Okay? They, they are uh, rebelling against it. Uh, give me the word delusional. This is in the uh, etymology. It says, act of misleading someone, deception, deceit. If I go down a little bit, it says, technically, delusion is a belief that, though false, has been surrendered to and accepted by the whole mind as the truth. So, Genjitsu is a delusion. You believe. You see your arm is on fire, but your arm is not on fire. So read that last part again. It said, you believe something is happening, but it's actually it's not, not happening. happening. <laughs> so it says, technical delusion is a belief that though false, has a belief been, that though it's false, read, has been surrendered to and accepted by the whole mind as the truth. Yeah. <laughs> so the most is going to bring your delusions up is gonna jack you up man and like I said Genjitsu is a delusion man you your mind believes that something is happening to you you are being tortured but it's actually false you're not even being tortured but the, the, the torture of the mind is gonna it's gonna drive you crazy man and then it says he's gonna bring your fears upon you so in that delusion your fears is gonna come upon you your greatest fears you think a, a, a giant spider is attacking you you're afraid of spiders a giant spider is attacking you not even happening but that great great fear just like a nightmare man that's what the genjitsu is a nightmare it's not happening but you are being tortured in your in your sleep and you wake up all sweating maybe crying or very very scared you don't want to go back to sleep that's what i had back in the days man when i was small i got attacked in my dreams by demons man okay i got my dreams were so uh, so uh, painful and vivid and real and scary that when my mother used to tell me, hey, go to bed, it's time to go to bed, I would start crying because I didn't want to go to sleep, man. I didn't want to sleep. I did not want to go to bed to close my eyes and sleep. Because, hey, put the charger in and uh, the power bank. I did not want to go to bed and go to sleep because I was scared to go to uh, go to sleep. Man. Because uh, a lot of things was happening. Now, what happened then was I went, uh, I was on this market and you had Gadites there. And I told the Gadite about my problem and he gave me this dream catcher. And I, I just believed that it was gonna take away the dreams and it shut up the dreams completely, man. After that, I didn't have no dreams no more. And now I, I'm a brother that doesn't dream often, man. Brothers have mad dreams, seven, eight dreams in a week. I'm looking at it, hey, stop with coming with these dreams, man. <laughs> no, 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 but that's not the reason behind it, of course. I'm not, you know, hating on brothers because they have dreams and I don't. No, that's not it. But yeah, I don't have dreams. But then when I get dreams, 
I know some something behind it, man. But um, like in so South America, which this is a thing that I found out later in South America, um, you have something called uh, they, they put a blockage. If you are a man that uh, or a child that has a, a lot of dreams, yeah, you, you pulled it out. It's got you. No, it's not. It's not working. Oh, it's not working. If you are a man, yeah, we have to. Now it's off again. Hey, the story is not full, man. So lucky, 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 lucky. Hey, we have to fix this real quick. Hey, do snow, man. That is five percent. Do snow. Snel, snel, snel. Vijf procent. Het ging van 15 naar 5. Wow. Hé, hey, 3 procent. Snel, 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 snel. Klik, 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 klik. 2 procent. Hé, hey, this shit is going crazy, man. It went from 15. It's working? Yeah, it's working. It's working. Hey, y'all are at the side. The, the, the connection stays there. So, like I was saying, in South America, you have some, something called the. They call it the tapu. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, I know what it is, Khan. And uh, a tapu is uh, a ritual that they, it, let's say a child is, is going crazy from nightmares. And he has demons attacking him in his sleep. Then they, a tapu is to close, means to close, right? Mm -hmm. that spiritual portal, where they, 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 uh, they uh, hunt. And then you don't, you're not being hunted no more. You don't get dreams no more. So I believe now that... So I know now, like back in those days when I visited those Gedites, mm -hmm. and it was, I just met them. They had, you know, this market mm -hmm. selling things. I know that it was all the spirit of Yom Hashem Yoshai, because I was so scared I didn't want to go to sleep. Man. I was crying, man, to go to sleep. And then I hung the, the dream catcher above my mm -hmm. bed. And uh, he also said, don't let other people touch it. I don't know if that's uh, mm -hmm. something. Yeah, no, other people can't touch it. Don't let other people touch it. Just only you touch it, hang it off your bed. And I, I believe that that took away uh, those dreams, man, mm -hmm. those nightmares. And I could just sleep uh, peacefully, man. So yeah, hey, our people have certain ways that are not scriptural, but that do help. But now we have your Allah Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat. That's why I also told this brother, like, we uh, burn incense, which uh, burning incense is scriptural. To worship Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, but we don't know what incense that is. And he, he said like, yeah, to get demons out of your house. You being a man of the Lord, being in your house and praying, that should get the demons out of your house already. You know, having faith that you, you know, basically cleanse the room as being a man of the Lord and that spirit that is upon you. And now we we burn incense to, just to get a, a, a calm and a, 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 a acceptable aura in your house, man. You know the smell you know there's energies in your house man mm -hmm. so you you can uh, you know you can uh, you can uh, calm down that spirit by having a nice scent uh, scent in your house because the most high he loves the scent uh, scent of um, frankincense man the, the the favorite smell of the most high is frankincense okay so hey buy frankincense man and, and light it Bur uh, uh, get coals um burning coals Put the frankincense on it and let it uh, you know, smoke your house, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, uh, go back. Uh, yeah, we finish the Isaiah, uh, then go to Zephaniah. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. I also would choose their illusions, and I will bring their fears upon them. The Heavenly Father is going to bring their fears of the people upon them. Okay? Because when I called, none did answer. Yeah, and this is the reason why he's going to do that. The Heavenly Father is calling people. How is the Heavenly Father calling people to his men? And people don't want to listen. And the most is just looking like, oh, here it is, these men are trying to bid you to this marriage. You don't want to listen, you turn away your face, you be like, you shake your head like calling us the church of Satan. The Heavenly Father is gonna give you a punishment for that, man. Give you a punishment for, for those thoughts. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes chose that in which I delighted not. Yeah, when I speak, they did not hear. Now, how does the Most I speak? Give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 
29, Jeremiah chapter 29, uh, verse, uh, I believe it's 19. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 29, verse 19. Because they have not hearkened to my words. Okay, they have not hearkened to my words. Read. Said Yahweh, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets. So the Heavenly Father's words are being sent by the servants, the prophets. You see, those are the words that they don't want to listen to. That's why the scripture also says, Luke, he that despised you despised me. It's all it's all one chain. We are one body in Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, that's what the Lord Jehovah Shai was asking for. That we might be one body. That that the ones that are in this truth might come to the fruition and may be one as the Heavenly Father and the Son are one. Not being one one uh, one uh, one person, but being of one mind. That's how we have to come in the word of truth, being of one mind. You see? I got it. Yeah. This is Philippians 2, verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. See? So to be of one mind and to become one is to be of one accord. Yahweh Shah didn't battle against the Heavenly Father. When, when the Heavenly Father said, Peter is the rock upon whom I built my church, Yahweh Shai, he, he loved um, a John, a, a John, man. I almost wanted to say Jonathan. Yahweh Shai loved John, man. Okay. You know? But the Heavenly Father said, no, Peter. And, and did, did Yahweh Shai battle against that? No, he accepted it. So there, he is of one mind, with, of one accord with the Lord Yahweh. Okay, and that's how we also have to be one body and one accord because otherwise you're not able to teach, man, if you are disagreeing with each other. That's right. You know, that happened in the past, like you have a brother, he comes with some something and you know that's not the, 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 the right breakdown. Mm -hmm. And then a certain clash uh, uh, comes in the camp while the camera's rolling, man. That's, that's not good, That's not good. And dudes like that got sifted out, man. Okay. But also the scripture says that if uh, one of you is uh, not like-minded, Different minded that is going to be made known unto you. Yeah, that's um, Philippians. You are Philippians, right? Yeah. Philippians 3 and uh, 15. This is Philippians 3, verse 15. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Mm -hmm. And if anything be otherwise minded, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh shall reveal even this unto you. Yeah, so if you are otherwise minded, the Heavenly Father is going to reveal it unto you. And not only unto you, but also unto brothers. Like sometimes you might have a, a fucked up thought or way of thinking, and it might be revealed to other brothers, man. You know, they ask you a certain question, and then let's say he's dealing with something in his mind, but he's not talking about it. And then the most I might put the spirit on me to ask him about it. Like, hey, what's, what's up with this? And then he's like, how, how does he how know? Does he know? <laughs> and then he comes out with this uh, uh, fucked up way of thinking. And then, uh, you know, I might correct him on, uh, uh, correct him on it, uh, uh, talking about that's not the, that's not good, man. See, and then it's, it, it will be revealed, and only a spiritual man will understand that that's the works of the Most High, man. The Most High works through His men. Okay, He's not gonna come down and correct you. You don't want that, man. The children of Israel asked for that one time. They said, "Don't give us Moses. We want the Most High." <laughs> hey, they regretted saying that, man, <laughs> because the whole earth. It, it, you know, it felt like the world was going to be destroyed, man. <laughs> Earthquakes, lightnings. Yeah, you walk it. <laughs> Lightning as you walk. <laughs> you know, Israel yeah, was, you know how, when Israel, when Jake is in danger, man, you know how Jake acts, man. <laughs> when you see Jake in horror movies, yeah. then you go and find, you, out. You find out. It's complete chaos and panic. <laughs> now, that is how the whole nation was acting when, when the Heavenly Father came, uh, came in the presence, man. Then they realized, we don't want to see the Heavenly Father. Let us deal with the man. <laughs> Let us deal with Moses. It's better. It's more safe. <laughs> it's more safe, man. You know? And if you want to hear the words of the Most High, you have to go in the book, man. That's right. But how shall any man understand the words that are written therein unless someone guides him? You see? So you need a guide, man. So, so um, did you finish that? The, uh, Isaiah? Yeah, there was not. Finish that, uh, finish that, uh, read it again and finish the whole thing. Uh, this is Jeremiah 29, verse 
19, because they have not hearkened to my words, saith Yahweh, which I sent unto them by my servants the prophets. The words of Yahweh are sent by the servants of prophets unto the people. Rising up early and sending them. Rising up early, representing before the destruction is here. And the prophets is already there. Before everything gets destroyed, the prophets is here, man. Rising up early doesn't mean like putting your alarm. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. No, no, no. It means before the destruction is here, they're already there. Okay. Which gives you the time to turn back to Yahweh Bashram Yashai before you get destroyed in the in the in the judgment of the Heavenly Father, you know, his anger, man. Gun, so you have no excuse. Yahweh Bashem Yashai doesn't want you to have a cloak for your sins. Mean, meaning he doesn't want you to be able to say like, yeah, I didn't know. I never heard it. No, man. The prophets of the Heavenly Father have been have been out there in the highways and byways since the 80s, since the 90s. Since Abba Bifas, man. And, and since 2007 on, on YouTube, man. Now everyone is so fond of YouTube, right? So you, you have no, no reason to say you didn't hear it, man. At, at one point, you will pass by Hebrew Israelite group, man, whether it's IYC, ISUPK. Yeah, but I listened to ISU, I, I, I stumbled upon ISUPK. Okay, well, ISUPK speaks about GMS. So it, you, you could have been led to, towards uh, GMS. Yeah. And if you don't accept that you are Hebrew Israelite, then that's already done then. Already done deal. You don't need to hear the rest. The cloak is already gone. Because if you don't accept that, then how, how, like, like the worldly saying states, if you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you're going. So if you don't accept that you're Hebrew Israelite, then how are you going to listen to the rest of the, the words of the scriptures, man? Scripture. This first Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Yahweh Shai. So the first words that are being spoken unto you are carnal, man. You are Hebrew Israelite, that's carnal. Man. Your lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You you that's that's your nationality. That's what it starts off with. Not you don't start off with yeah, the seven, the dragon with the seven heads and ten horns, the breakdown of the NATO and the... <laughs> Confusion. This man is going to be like, yo, you bugged out. Yeah. That's why oftentimes what I see also oh, is when... Chariots. If you start with chariots, I want to say oh. that if you open up a teaching with chariots... Yeah. The book of Zechariah. Okay, but I, I have I to go. go. I, have I, have to go. go. <laughs> I gotta get the chariot. Because you need to start off, you know, slow, man. I've seen that many times, man. The moment the chariots are being, being, uh, you know, explained, they be like, okay, this okay. Crazy. <laughs> they bugged out. <laughs> These guys is crazy. Man. But hey, if that uh, needs to be brought out to, um, to um, fulfill his lot as a stumbling block. Yep, that's yep, it, yep. man. The men of the Give Lord. me that in uh, Sirach. And the men of the you Lord, they, they, they won't be offended by the word meaning that they are not going to stumble and fall by the word maybe their their mindset is not there yet but still they you can work with them you know but these people when you speak to them then they 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 can't comprehend it because they don't don't um they don't want to accept it you know because they're so so seared uh, with the hot iron of this world that they can't let that go like okay that's ufo so that's out of this world we can't we can't those can't be the, the chariots of salvation. Those things can't come to, to help me. Those things are destruction or those things are, are mytholo mythological beings, you know? So these people, when they hear that, then they're offended or they, they can't grasp it and they, they walk away, man. But the men of the Lord, they won't be offended by the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man, it's, it's um, you know what it is? Our people have been so long in this Western uh, mind state that, when, when something of the Middle East comes out, the center of the world, which is really, it's not the Middle East, it's really the center of the world. When something of the ancient days comes out, they think it's strange, man. But actually, it's not strange. That's just the way that it's supposed to be. Man. You know, for example, uh, I used to, uh, you know, on the islands and in South America, it's normal to put 
a whole fish with his hand in the oven, mm -hmm. season it, and you just take out the fish, and you have a fish with his hand too. <laughs> yeah, man. So I, I had that, and then you have the platin, mm -hmm. you have the, the baked banana with the cassava. Yeah. That's a strong man meal. Yeah, man. So I, I posted it one time, and then the brother from GMS Chicago was like, what? That's a fish head, man. I said, yes, so. He said, nah, man. I ain't gonna eat no fish head, man. I said, man, you, you've been in America too long. Man. You've been in America. This is Caribbean food, man. Yeah, man. That's normal. So that Western uh, uh, state of mind, you know, is it has been so long upon our people that they, they think it's strange. Back in the days, like in South America, you you butcher your own chicken. Yeah, man. Exactly. Yeah, we've been doing that. Yeah, we've been doing what that. What am I gonna eat then? Longest. Uh, give it yourself. Yeah, give, give a chicken to a, 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 a American uh, Jake. <laughs> give a chicken and tell him, yo, you figure it out. They figured it you out. Figure it out man. Yeah. He's gonna panic, man. You wanna have some barbecue and tonight? And that is that mind state. And that mind state is upon the people of the world even more, man. Like the brothers, it's not to, uh, to butcher brothers or something, but it's just, uh, uh, you know, as an example. The people of this world are in that state of mind, man. They cannot grasp the, 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 the ancient things that are written in the scriptures because of this this mind state man that's why it says come out of uh, uh, uh come out of, come out my, of people, my people which represents come out of this mind state for this is not your rest give me that micah or you micah you who was reading I have yeah give me the sarak this is uh sarak 39 for 24 as his ways are plain to the holy so it is stumbling blocks of the wicked yeah so we might jump into the topic of uh, chariots and for us it's like normal like we don't think like mm -hmm. these dudes is crazy or it's a crazy topic to to go into for us it's normal we speak about it like yeah you you do understand this right <laughs> and then be like no, no, this guy is crazy so it's laid as a stumbling block before them and that that is the will of Yahweh Hashem Yashai if this is the point where they say okay now I'm, now I'm done with it then, hey, that's what it is, man. The same thing goes for um, uh, Sister Polite, man. Sister Polite, when Brother he came... No light. To, yeah, <laughs> Sister no light, no light. When he came to the camp of the, gym, the elders of uh, Great Muslims, the apostles, when he came to the camp, he almost uh, accepted this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Until the rape doctrine came up. Then he, then he was done. Then he said, man, hey, fuck it, man. Then he was lost. So that was as a stumbling block. The most I really didn't want this guy, man. Okay. And how did he end up? He ended up shooting up the Bible, man. Yeah. Uh, with a, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, he ended that. up shooting up the Bible with an assault rifle yes. in a in the gun range. <laughs> he hung up the Bible and he started shooting yeah. it up, man. And afterward, he be like, yeah, you look at the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Falling oh. apart. Yeah. With bullet holes in it. Yeah, man. Hey, it's wicked, man. You see? That's uh, that's gonna be him, man. Hey, the, the, the punishment of the Heavenly Father might be that he gets shot up like that, man. And the most that keep the spirit in. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, he's man. Gonna get a special <laughs> kind of torture. Yeah, man. He'd be special, like, special torture. But who knows what his greatest fears are? Yeah, the man. The most is gonna jack him up with that, man. You know, and the thing is, like, we we are not concerned on, on how he's gonna get punished. We we already know, like, if he doesn't prevent, he will get jacked up. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Man. He will get jacked up. Yeah, this is Proverbs 1, verse 30. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. <laughs> They're gonna be filled with their own devices, man. That's what was his device? Shooting up the Bible, right? You're gonna get it, you're gonna get it in return, man. You're gonna get jacked up for doing that, man. You're gonna be filled with your own devices. Okay, that's why. Um, give me um, First Corinthians, where it says uh, we all must come before the judgment seat of the Most High. Second Corinthians. Continuing. This is uh, Proverbs 1, verse 32. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quite quiet from fear of evil. Yeah, man. Break it down. God. So for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. God. Because the simple, they, they believe in every word, but they don't believe the Bible. They don't believe the, the truth and wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahweh 
So when they turn away from this truth, they're condemning themselves, and their own devices are gonna destroy them. You know, their worst fears and the, the things that they did unto the men of the men of the Lord, that's what's gonna come and uh, come upon their own head. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely, because Yahweh shall be our shai. Yeah, I still have that. Safe haven, you know, he's a, a strong tower that we run into as righteous. Be safe. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, man. That's heavy. He that believeth in the most high shall, shall be safe, man, secure. He's gonna be taken care of. He's gonna be taken care of, man. That's our um, that's our um, hope. That's right. And shall and, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Yeah, what you were talking about. Yeah. Not even the evil, but the fear the of fear. evil. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Fear of evil. Which the fear of evil goes into being faint-hearted, believing that you are going to be touched in those days, man. God, God. Believing that, hey, you're going to get them on, you're going to get them. We did a lesson about that this week, man. Mm -hmm. You know? No fear. Uh, 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 yeah, fear, fear not. not. Yeah, fear, fear not, not. Fear not. Yeah, man. That's the hope that we should have, that we are not going to be harmed, man. Okay? But the, the wicked and the faithless are going to have fear of evil, man. Because they don't believe in our Bashem Yon Shai. Because uh, the brother was talking about the limbo, but you also have this this movie, Jacob's Trouble. You know, the new version. What? Yeah, uh, not Jacob's Trouble, Salakia. Yeah. You know, when we were I was already... <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I, I need to see that movie. <laughs> no, 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 Jacob's Ladder. No, yeah, Jacob's yeah. Ladder, yeah. Jacob's ladder. Yeah. We program ourselves so much that when Jacob, you hear Jacob, then you automatically say uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. trouble. You, know? you have the new, uh, the new one, the uh, new yeah, version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. That's where this, these guys, they were USA with the bunch of the mice in it. Uh, that was the first one, but this yeah. one is with Jake. With Jake? Yeah. yeah. So the guy with the... Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Oh, that one, that's man. crazy. I'm going to send you the link. Yeah, it's a dope yeah. one. Because he was a, a vet in the, uh, the military, you know, and then you get this post-traumatic uh, stress syndrome yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. like that, so which is evil. Yeah, so they, what do they do? They give you then uh, medication to suppress them. I'm not going to spoil the whole movie, but that's a good movie to watch to, uh, to see what fear can do to a person. Like the brother was talking about that you, you see flames on your hands and stuff like that, you know, you're just going to kill yourself. And then when the, 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 the paramedics come, they're like, what killed them? Just, just fear kill them. Also yeah. the thing uh, which people uh, that cut themselves, they have demons on them. Mm -hmm. So that shows you what the what the what the spiritual power of the heavenly father is. Mm -hmm. The heavenly father and his spiritual beings, angels and demons, they have the power to make you think certain things, man. Just like the angels that came to Abraham, they was eating in front of him. Evil angels don't eat. Don't so eat they God. gave him, they gave Abraham. The angel Raphael was there. Rapayala, which is healing, healing of the Most High, he was sitting there acting like he was eating. So Tobit, uh, no, actually Tobias, Tobias, the son of Tobit, because it's the book of Tobit, what is all about his son. He was sitting with the angel eating, you know, breaking bread. Angel was just looking at him. But what what did uh, what did uh, to, uh, Tobias see? He saw him eating. He was not even was eating. Not so that's the whole thing that we was talking about. That that um, imagination. Okay, that's what the angels can do. So demons do that also. When when uh, this, these gothic type uh, people, they have yeah, demons on yeah, them. Man. They cut themselves. Right? Yeah, man. What is what is creating that? That demon, man. Okay, and it's even in the scriptures. If you, if you can read that, that person that was cutting himself. Uh, is, yeah, look it up. <laughs> Are the priest. At the but precept you're reading something? for the uh, from Pro yeah, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs uh, chapter 1, first, uh, I start with 25. But ye have said, uh, at not all my counsels, and would none of my reproof. I just yeah, read what? That's oh. what I just read. <laughs> you just read it. <laughs> read the Sarak. Sarak, I have that also for you. Uh, uh Sarak chapter uh, 2, first, uh, nine. 8 of 9. nine. Gone. Yeah. He that feared the Lord, hope for a good. And for everlasting joy and mercy. He that fear the Lord hope for good. What is the good? The kingdom of Yahweh That's what we hope for. That's what we strive towards. To enter in. Ten. Verse nine. Of verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Yeah, that's why you gotta go into the history of Israel. Man. You gotta go into the history, man, and then you're gonna find out that those men that was living back in those days. They Or did any abide in his fear? 
and was forsaken. Yeah, even even Elisha. You know when you read about Elijah and Elisha, Elisha said, "I want double, I want double the powers that you have from your heart, from your shine." And Elijah was like, "No, that's a big thing to ask yeah, man, because you know I've received a lot from the Heavenly Father, but if you see me get beamed up into the chariot." This is gonna be manifest. And he got it, man. Oh, he God. had that faith. You see? So when you believe, when you when you when you want something, when you when you want spiritual gifts from the Heavenly Father, don't think it's not gonna happen, man. You gotta put the faith up in it. The faith is the main ingredient. Like when you make a stew and you taste the stew, you be like, oh, I can really taste this lemongrass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can really taste this spice. That's that's the beauty of it, because that's the main ingredient that I remember when we was in Syria, we went to eat uh, this chicken, mm. and I told the man like, "Hey, you can really taste the lemongrass." He said, "Hey, that's right, man. Yeah, right. You put a lot of lemongrass in it, so you, you get that special, that special flavor. flavor. I like and, that. And since that chicken, I haven't tasted chicken like that nowhere, man. Okay, okay, so okay. It really stuck in my mind, like that lemongrass created that taste. Man. I always put it in my in my chicken, yeah. man. I put it also, but I don't know, man. That over there in Syria, it was different. So time also that's also a good herb to use mm -hmm. yeah, but, but lemongrass has an uh, ordinary taste i like the taste from in the chicken you know in the, in the in the meat itself but anyway my point is faith <laughs> that is that spice <laughs> is that, that is really out there man okay. that with everything that you ask from the heavenly father hey that's gonna come out man so you have that scripture about okay now i was not finished yeah, you have that? Yeah. Okay, hold it. Can. Or whom did he... Uh, yeah, I already forgot. <laughs> or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, whom did, why would the Most High despise you when you're calling upon him, man? You know? The only reason that the Most High might despise you when you're calling upon him is, is when you are not doing his will, man. Because the scripture says in... Um, let me grab it real quick because I don't know how to roughly paraphrase it. It's in, uh, I think, Proverbs 29. It says this. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. So the moment that you are not doing the will of your Abba Shem Shai, he's going to look at your prayer like, hey, this is an abomination, man. Hey, and that's a very good point towards someone I know. You're talking about it. I still believe in your But you're not doing his will. You're not doing his will. So he, the most High is looking at your prayers as an abomination, which uh, an abomination is something that is filthy and despisable. You know, and then you had the prayer of King David that said, let his prayer be heard by Satan. Let Satan be on his right hand. So it is your prayer. But <laughs> you're basically dealing with Satan. With Satan. Like I don't want to do like, like you said. <laughs> like, you nah, <laughs> he, he, he be dodging it. Shit. <laughs> Let Satan be on his right hand. God. Yeah, man. So you think you you still in, in good case with your Abba Shemiah Shai, good grace with your Abba Shemiah Shai, but the most I at a certain point can look at you like, no, no, no. You, you cross the line, man. You cross the line. And when do you cross the line? When you are uh, speaking against the Holy Spirit, man. And upon whom is the Holy Spirit? Upon the man of the Lord. That's right. What happened when, when uh, Ananias and Sapphira was lying against Peter? They was, a, they was lying to Peter, but the Holy Spirit was on him. So they lied to the Holy Spirit. What happened? Boom, dropped dead on the spot. Both of them. You see? So you can't do that. So a lot of people gonna get jacked up for that. Yeah. You know? But the, the faith, the ones that are have faith in how Pastor Yahweh Shai and do the truth and sincerity and righteousness, they will be taken care of. You know? Uh, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saved in the time of affliction. Yeah, the most I forgive it sins, man. Because Psalms 130. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that. Grab it, grab it. Real quick, I wanted to drop the paraphrase. If, if, he, if he didn't forgive sins, nobody would nobody would live. Yeah. This is Proverbs 130, verse 3. If thou, Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquities, O Yahweh, who shall stand? Who shall stand, man? If the Most High would look at sins, who, nobody would stand. So the Most High is very pitiful and forgiving sins. If, if he wouldn't do that, he would just be put to death. 
we will with all perish. But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. There is forgiveness with the Heavenly Father. Okay, read on. Okay. Are we going to bring out all the precepts that we got? So we're going to use the Zephaniah. This is verse uh, 12. Woe to the fearful hearts and faint, uh, faint hands and the sinner that go with two ways. Verse 13. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Yeah, so if you don't believe, if you're if you are faint hearted, if you you know fearing the evils that are coming, like the brother uh, read earlier, if you're fearing the evils that are coming, that means you have lack of faith, man. So you won't be defended. Those evils is actually gonna come upon you, man. Faith is be is believing something you can't see. So you are in a certain, you are in certain troubles, and you can, you can't see you getting out of it. But believing you get get delivered out of it is what's gonna get you delivered out of it, man. That's what it is. Can you say something quick? Because you know, if we're going to rely on the side that we're going to behold, we're going to be destroyed. So we need to look past the things that we're going to face and have hope that we're going to be delivered you know, from the from the set troubles that come to the table. The scripture is going to provide us with the stability and the faith. Because it talks about how we're going to be delivered, how we're going to be fed, how we're going to be built up in this time. That's right. <laughs> I didn't catch what you're saying, but. <laughs> <laughs> It must be good. Khan, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, first uh, 14. Because we agree with each other. What he said, just said, I didn't catch it because I was doing sign language with the brother. But it must be good. Man. Otherwise, he wouldn't be standing. <laughs> first 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Yeah. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah, what will you do? If you lose patience in your heart, Hashem Yashai, like some, some dudes that fell off, they lost patience. They didn't want to wake no more. So now what are you going to do when the Heavenly Father actually comes? Here it is, you're teaching 12 days. The 12th day, you'll be like, nah, I'm tired of it, man. I don't want to do this no more. The 13th day, the Heavenly Father comes. <laughs> what the, oh. What's going to happen to you? Meditate upon that. Okay. And fear your heart, Hashem Yashai. Fear your heart, Hashem Yashai. Your work will not be remembered anymore, man. Right, man. You, you could have, you could have, get, have given 60% um, of your salary every month to the elder of Foster. But then if you turn it back to Yahweh Hashem Yashai, all those things will, will, will be forgotten. That's your right. Good works are just thrown out the window. Man. Okay? Give me a scripture. Um, you had a piece of this thing that Sirach, you said. Yeah, this is Sirach chapter 34, verse 13. The spirit of those that fear the Lord Jehovah shall live, for the hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso fear the Lord Jehovah should not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Yeah, the hope of, of the men uh, that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's, that's his hope. You know, not guns, not being strong. Okay, we keep our bodies in, in shape because. Let me let me tell you something, man. I was talking with a brother from Germany yesterday, the camp leader from Germany. I was talking with him, and I told him like, <clears throat> yes, the scriptures say uh, bodily exercise profited little. And while we are in these last days, we are looking for to having new bodies instead of making our these bodies fit. Mm -hmm. So you have that in your mind, but you got to think about it. Certain brothers don't know any better. We have been training our whole lives. For example, me, I don't know, my body doesn't know no better. I've been training since I was young, since mm -hmm. I was a child. You know, when I was uh, when I was four years old, I had to go uh, follow uh, sw swimming lessons, got my sw uh, swimming uh, uh, Karate. Uh, things. Then I went to play soccer. Then I was playing mm -hmm. basketball, baseball, break dance, uh, yeah, uh, uh, man. kickboxing, I'll boxing, you know, <laughs> military. Uh, 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 MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, my body, fitness, bodybuilding, my body doesn't know no better. Mm -hmm. So, if you know all of a sudden, because you get these things in your mind, you be like, there's no use in training when I'm gonna get a new body. Why would I train? 
but the moment you stop doing it, your body gets into a certain uh, shock because mm -hmm. your body is used to you taking care of yourself and training and exercising I've and stuff like that. that. So mm -hmm. now you, you shock your body in a certain way that you become lazy. Now you become lazy, you become a sack of potatoes, <laughs> sit on the couch, you become a sack of potatoes, and you're out of balance. Yeah. So your body is used to you exercising and stuff like that, so you, so, so you shouldn't stop. You should just continue in it so your body gets in balance. But a man that is never trained and has always lived this, this lifestyle, he's gonna be in balance because this is his way of living. Okay. But your way of living, like getting your, keeping yourself in shape, is gonna benefit you also in the, in the spiritual things. Because you're gonna be in balance in your mind and your body is gonna be in tune with each other. So you're gonna do the works that you're supposed to do. You're not gonna get extra, extremely lazy. Because the moment your body stops doing what he's used to do, you become extremely lazy. And that laziness is gonna have effect upon the truth also. I just wanna sleep, I just wanna, oh, I'm so tired. No, fuck that shit, man. <laughs> when your body is used to running or exercising, you, your fit level is gonna be higher and you don't need that much sleep because you don't have a lot of toxins in your body. You can just sit and read. That's that endurance, man. That's that mind that you train them. Okay, that's just one thing I wanted to say real quick. Um, verse 15. Blessed is the soul of him that feared the Lord Jehovah, the one that he looked was his strength. Yeah, so it's a blessing to fear Jehovah Shemeroshai. You know, what are these, these demons, these worldly people talking about? It's a blessing to have a diamond on your fucking forehead. It's a blessing to have uh, uh, money in your pocket, a lot of money in your pocket, which half of it needs to go to these Amalekites because they uh, they are, are the reason that you are in this uh, so-called status. That's right. Which that status availed you nothing in these times because you can't even perform on the stages or, or the events, man. Here it is, this whole system is, is unlocked. <laughs> but you are artists, what you gonna do with it now? Jake wanna stunt and act like, yeah, I, I make money for a living with rap. I'm the you avatar. Have to work for a boss. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still getting paid. How about right. you? <laughs> yeah. I'm still getting paid. How about you? You know, being an artist. That's, that shit is. You a slave, man. Even Dave E said it in the song, man. He said, I'm not a slave like all these other uh, artists, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And he's probably lying. Mm -hmm. He signed to uh, to Nas. Okay. Nas is uh, late. So he is a slave because if he says I'm not gonna bring out this album this uh, year, <laughs> he's gonna get jacked up. <laughs> he signed the contract. Yeah, man. Okay. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. For the eyes of the Lord Jehovah are upon them that love Him. He is the mighty protection, the strong defense. The Heavenly Father is the mighty protection of the man of the Lord. Okay, you have to believe that. That's yeah, that man. faith. A strong stay in defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. So the Heavenly Father preserves you from stumbling, man. Means He takes care of you that you don't stumble over certain things. Okay, He's gonna guide you in your steps, man. That's why sometimes you can get angry and be like, hey, why, did, why is this happening? Because the Most High is preventing you from certain things. Okay. I've seen it, man. I've seen it in my own life. Personal things. And you know, I get angry. Why is this happening? But then later I'll be like, hey, here it is. You're praying to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, that the wicked, uh, if you have a wicked wife, that she may depart from you. And then next thing you know, your wife departs from you. Yeah. Be like, hey, why, why is this happening? They think back on the oh, grave like, oh, oh <laughs> <the inside laughs> I, kicked I, their ass away. I prayed on it. Yeah, because you prayed for it. Yeah, you man, yeah, man. You, if you don't want wicked people in your presence and you see a lot of people falling off, then that's um, what it is, man. Okay. Can I say something? Huh? Uh, last week, I was, uh, I always go like three times in a week. I'm going to take a walk, you know, in the bush of Schorl. You know where it is, you know, it's in Alkmaar. And uh, I was with my wife, he was asking me from, yo, let's go. But then something was like, okay, hey, we couldn't go. She was like, hey, the weather is nice because Sunday, uh, like uh, Tuesday, the weather was nice, you know. She was like, let's go. And I said, no, I need to do some things for my work, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden there was an accident over there. Uh, a, a, a cop, to, it was in the paper also, a cop, off-duty cop, uh, a truck, 
hit him. And I was like, hey, y'all bashim, y'all shy, because I want to take that road, you know. And I, yeah. I was like, hey, this this is what happened, man. Up, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. And a lot of times you don't even, like, this is a coincidence that you actually found out that this was in the news, that you might have been in that accident. Uh -uh. But many times you don't even know about it. And that's mm -hmm. the faith that you got to have. You just got to trust in your heart, bashim, y'all shy, and know, like, oh, the most have prevented me from something. I don't know what, he, can't. he prevented me from something. You gotta look spiritually, man. That's right. Everything you gotta look spiritually. Man. Yeah, man. Even when you hit your knee, you hit your knee against the table. <laughs> you be like, <laughs> think like, hey, something's going on. Yeah, I man. did something. I did something. That's examining yourself, looking at yourself, and be like, hey, something's going on. The most are trying to warn me for something. Okay. There's always a reason, man. There's always a reason. And like I said, you shouldn't battle with yourself because a lot of things are ordained by the most high and he's, he's guiding you in your steps man that's right okay uh okay and this is uh micah two yeah first ten arise ye and depart depart from what depart from this western mind state man and go into the scripture and look at the ways of old and realize what was normal and what is normal because it's still in effect. The scriptures are still in effect. You know, people like to say, like, yeah, that was more than 2,000 years ago. So fucking fuck, man. The scriptures are still in effect. Man. Still. You see? It's relevant till today. This Western mind state, man. Don't think that it's normal for a female to, to, to have a loud mouth to worship. You shouldn't accept that as a man. No man's supposed to accept a female, you know, shouting and shouting at him, telling him what the fuck to do, man. You shouldn't accept that, man. Okay? When you. Where you when you are, you know, set up like that towards a female man, she's gonna respect you more, man. Then we be like, okay, yes, baby, yes, baby, I will do that, baby. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. You have to show her like how how it's going down, man. If she don't accept that, hey, get the step in, man. I, I did a and lesson. Then you're gonna see that a lot of females don't want to deal with you, man. Okay. Well, good, because there are demons are aggravated by your spirit that is upright yeah the upright spirit of your shai that is upon you for not accepting that bullshit for not uh, you know going uh, being down with all that shit that she has to uh, bring to that she brings to the table that's the spirit of your shai and those demons that are upon her are not gonna they're gonna fight against them trying not trying to get their way mm -hmm. trying to get their uh, will you shouldn't accept that, man. You're a man. You have balls between your legs. They have nothing. They have a fucking cut that bleeds every month. Why the hell would you, would you, uh, you know, bow down to her, man? Nah, man. That is horrible. That's it's horrible. Ter it's terrible. If you think about yeah. it, man, Can I say something else? Which, which if you, if you want to testify, you need to have testicles. That's why the men are set up by how Shemir Shai. Because they are able to testify. The flock of my pastor are men, like it says in the that real quick you know the most i deals with the men and 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 of course we want to help you females also with this truth we want y'all to turn back to your Shem Yansha also but it starts with having respect towards your husband yeah but he's fucking around with a lot of so what accept it accept it man yeah man accept it or get the step in. Yeah. Accept it or get the step in. If he wants to get some coochie on the side, hey. Just don't ask. Don't ask for it. I had this meme back in the days. It's this statue. And he is this man with a beard in a statue form, mm -hmm. right? Uh, just chilling. And then he has this, have this female at his feet crying. And then it said, I told you not to go through my phone. Look at you now. Oh, I heard this shit. <laughs> That's what it is. That's just what it is. You don't get yourself hurt if you go through my phone, so don't do it. You know? Not my phone personally. I ain't doing those things. You know? But, hey, that's, that's for these females, man. But, hey, to be honest, these days are serious. These times are serious. So, what we need to focus on is your Abash and your Shai. You know, because we are in a time, man. This is something I spoke with the brother about yesterday also. I'm in, a, I'm in a certain time where my whole fucking living room is on fire. 
and I'm just reading my, my scriptures. Doing some push-ups. Meanwhile, fucking shit is on fire Everything in my living room. And I'm just doing some push-ups, doing some pull-ups. <laughs> reading some scriptures. You know, brothers come over. Shit is on fire. Don't matter, man. Just focus. Go, Let's go. just read. Let's just... But, but, but ah, yo, 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 the feast. Smoking, man. Doesn't matter, man. <laughs> That's how you gotta look at it, man. Okay. Of course, everything is on fire because we are in the end, man. The most I know is that we are getting jacked up a little bit more to get what? To get all this pleasure in the end, man. Mm -hmm. Scripture says, after being a little bit chastised, give me that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. How much do you have? What you have in Proverbs? Proverbs 8 and 4. Read it. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is, is unto the Son of Man. My voice is unto the Son of Man. So the words of Yahweh Hashem Yosha are being revealed unto mm -hmm. the sons of men. Okay. The men of the Lord are, are receiving this truth. And they are passing it on to their to their wives, man. They might pass it on to their wives. Okay. And who and if not, if if they are not getting it from their husband, they are get, still getting it from the man of the Lord. That's right. The wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the breakdowns, the teachings. That's how it's passed down. It's passed down from the Heavenly Father to Yahushai, from Yahushai to the man of the Lord, from the man of the Lord to these females, if they can receive it. Okay? Uh, no, three, yeah. And then go to the part where it says, uh, little after little, little chastised. Wait, 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 wait. So Solomon chapter 3, verse 5. Having been a little chastised, they should be greatly rewarded. Uh, after having been a little chastised. So here it is. You thinking like you you among the ashes. Just like Job, you among the ashes. Mm -hmm. All destroyed. It's just a little thing. In the eyes of Yahweh Shem it's a little thing. Why is it a little thing? Romans 8 and 18. That's why it's a little thing. You can grab it. Romans 8 and 18. It's a little thing in the sight of the most high, man. You just being a little bit chastised. So you just gotta uh, deal with it like me too. Like like Apostle Paul said, I counted my life as done. That's how you gotta look at your life, man. It's just done. It's nothing. Worth nothing. You know? Here it is, you you might not be able to see your children. One, two, three children, you can't see them no more. Hey, how many child how many children are you gonna get in the kingdom? Then? Think about that. Okay. Hey, this is the spirit. This is the things what I was meditating on, man. Like you lo you lose a lot a lot over here, you know. Uh, maybe you you maybe like like uh, your children or something like that, you know. Like Joe, you know, you lose some, but you gain so much more, man. In the kingdom, in the that kingdom. Mean that you don't love that son or that daughter. That doesn't mean that. It just you accept what the Heavenly Father has laid up for you, man. And that's a part of dealing with this truth also. Accepting what the Most High puts in front of you. Because fighting against it is going to get you hurt, man. Fighting against the will of Yahweh Hashem is going to get you hurt. And, and at one point I was trying it. I was trying that, man. Not to fight against the Most High, but trying to get what I want. I want to be with my son. I want to, you know, guide him and train him and then when you see you fighting against it the most that brings more hell on you yeah like, hey, <laughs> okay. don't hurt me like that God. So be like hey leave that alone God. focus on what you need to do trying to get back leave that and then when i leave it <sighs> spirit goes back to calm yeah yeah but when you like, can I just... <laughs> stay away from that it's better it's better to stay away from it. It's, it's not going to be profitable for you for the works that you that you uh, have to do, man. Like it says, there shall some that have wives shall be like they have none. Same way goes for your children. In some ways, the most I can put it out there that you you don't see your children, man. But then he wants you to focus on this truth. And it hurts. It hurts. It's fucked up. And you be like, hey, I love my sons. I love my children. Because yeah, man. He knows that that can be your stumbling block. That's right. You know, that's that's the whole thing. But it's gonna make you stronger. Yeah. It's gonna make you long for the kingdom even more. You see, when you have so many sons, you know, you just wake up. You wake up in, you know, they call it the king bed, right? The round one. God. The round. You wake
wake up in it you feel this breeze you see the white curtains coming into your room like this you wake up the moment you wake up you, you have your servants you have your servants in your room female servants does my lord desire to have some drinks <laughs> no thank you no thank you do you want some spring water from the from this crazy spring, <laughs> spring. and when you drink it you you'll be, you'll be like hey yes I would yeah like man hey that is the spirit cup. again you man. Your golden cup ha. Yeah. then hey and you know what this is the spirit man lately my mind is being triggered on um, waking up out of myself so my alarm goes i, I turn it up yeah before your alarm you no 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 my alarm goes mm -hmm. but then I, I, I press snooze and then before it goes again I wake up out of myself and then I go out, out of the bed gun, peacefully gun, gun, because gun. if I if I have to go out of the bed because of this damn alarm I'm not going to feel good no, but no. I feel good when I go out of myself out of yourself yeah. it feels better man and that's what we're going to have in the kitchen yeah. we're going to wake up out of our own will God. you know we just wake up out of our own will and then you know you come into your uh, you know, when you exit your uh, your room, but you have the glasses, and then, uh, you know, the doors is open, and you come, and it's just gonna be this white stairs going down, and you can see your kingdom. Yeah, man. You know, the giraffes and the, and the animals in your kingdom. Oh, and you, you killed it. your sons playing. Like, hey, what are we gonna do today? Hey, Apostle Daddy, Tahar was talking Daddy about this. Daddy is awake. Yeah. Fu, 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 fu. Are you. You know your children gonna be happy. Go to the North Pole. Then the other son be like, North Pole, you crazy man. Let's just go to the islands. You know where where my father was from in the old world, the man. Old world. Let's go to the Caribbean islands, man. You know, let's go to Daddy Place, man. That's where you know we was brought there. Let's check it out. Yeah, man. I'll be like, listen, listen, calm down, calm down. We're gonna do all those things. We have all the time in the world. Yes. Be like, yes. yeah, Daddy, that's right, that's right. You're gonna have pleasure with your sons, man. Pleasure with your daughters, man. You're gonna be able to enjoy them. That's true. You have to sometimes just think like scenarios that can mm -hmm. pop up in the kingdom. Because you're talking about this, Apostle Tahar was talking about the ex. That's why I was like, this is a spirit. Because Apostle Tahar was talking about it. Like we're gonna have so many children, and the servants gonna take care of it. Because you're not gonna play with a uh, hundred sons yeah, or no, daughters. No, diaper, no man, yeah, man, yeah, you'll be like, no man. Yeah, there's a female <laughs> might tell you like you're supposed to clean diapers too. Now, okay, well, you might just do it sometimes. But in the kingdom, actually, that's not a man's job no, man. to do, man. Change him diapers. Nah. That's not a man's job to do. And I already, always knew that. But hey, for for, for now, hey, Tawara, for for breaking up the connection. Right? Consistent? This guy. Is, yeah, <laughs> this uh, this Ralph America is a channel GMS in room lines fire. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. from GMS Dallas. Okay. Uh, his, his wife had a dream concerning uh, you know him and his wife in the kingdom with their grandchildren. You know, talking about, you know, tell us about the old world. You know, and, he, and he had a hundred grandchildren in, 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 that, in that dream. Ah, you know, so that was... Beautiful. Know, when I heard about it, man, tears came, came in my eyes. And I was like, man, it's going to be beautiful, so much better. You're mourning for one son, two sons. Meanwhile, that same son you're mourning for, if you just focus on this truth, he's going to be right there with you. Ah. That's all we need, man. Put the faith in our Pashim Shah and realize you're not only doing this for yourself, you're also doing it for them. Okay? That's right. Okay. You, you know, bra, Elder Malkama, yeah. he said, oh, all these uh, Israelites now over here, the two thirds, and oh, if your family, they are not sec Israelites. <laughs> not sec Israelites. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you get it? Yeah. <laughs> not sec Israelites. In the, in the this is Ezekiel 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your power, saith Yahweh. So the scripture says, Ye, my flock of my pasture, which if you go into that word pasture, is uh, giving food unto lambs. You know, the, word, so, the word Hebrew word there is Mariah. 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 Okay, that shows you that the, the name Mariah, which is oftentimes, you know, females that are named Mariah, 
they are often uh, you know have a certain status mm -hmm. like uh, like brothers that are called Michael they yeah. also have a certain status yeah. in this world Mariah yeah. means pasture what does the pasture represent it represents the yeah. okay we are the sheep we eat pasture which pasture is green grass you see and the flock of my pasture the flock of my pasture with the stroop are men you see Me? wisdom uh, given unto them but they only can perceive it through her husband through men. so Yahabba Hashem Yahusha he works through men he doesn't work through uh, women that's right like he, like he just read the, the sons of, of men and if you go into that word son means bond which is uh, which, which is basically a son not children it doesn't go into verse 25 and ye shall serve the Lord Jehovah your power and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee yeah so in the kingdom our water is gonna be blessed like I said man you're not gonna wake up with you know dry throat mm -hmm. grabbing for that that spa water or that avian water which is also fucking bullshit it's still bullshit, still bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> drinking it then you can start up your day. No, man, you're gonna get some fresh Hebron water. Yeah, man. The creek of Hebron. Okay? It's oh, already man. there. It stays cool. Cold. Too. Drink it. Yeah. You're gonna what? You're gonna bathe in it? It's gonna, yeah. Man. With the pearls and it, gemstones and it. You know? I saw this bathtub made out of a gemstone. Yeah, I sent it yeah, you send, yeah, you send it to the group, it's it's beautiful. A sink, a sink. Yeah, a sink, yeah, man. Yeah, amethyst, uh, a sink made of, out of amethyst. And you have this movie called the Valerian. Yeah, I saw the movie. Valerian, and mm -hmm. then um, that alien uh, creature, the female, she wakes up and she washes her face with, uh, with gemstones. With gemstones, with yeah, man. And it cleansed it's her cleansed. face. Yeah, man. It make it, made it... Um, all shiny and stuff and then she walked out of that room yeah, like yeah that's yeah what I'm yeah yeah right now. and she saw the beach and she saw she saw multiple moons mm -hmm. in the skies and the skies was like a purplish uh, gone, a purplish gone. blue yeah man beautiful man because we also don't have to see different planets okay so really my point is like hey hey give me Matthew chapter five let's let's read this from verse one but you finish this gone verse twenty one more match it Verse 26, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. Which if you go into that word cast, is that the blue letter Bible? No, why you don't use blue letter? Then you could just um, immediately check out the words. Man. Go into the word cast. So it said, there shall nothing cast her young. In the kingdom, nothing shall cast her young. Yeah, read it. usage to be bereaved, to make childless, or miscarried. Or, go on. To be bereaved, to make childless, cause barrenness, to barrenness or abortion. Okay! Hmm? It's scary, it's scary. So what do you have now? You have these, these pieces of nothing committing abortion, man. Okay. Murdering your child. That's not going to happen in the kingdom. Then you have females. You know, your wife, she uh, she has a miscarriage, man. The baby is gone. The, you lose the baby. Those things happen out there, which, which uh, brings mourning upon you. But you have to think also like that's gonna that's a son that's already there in the chariots waiting upon you. You know, you might have had a, a miscarriage, you know, with your wife. Your son is right there, man. When you come into the chariot, hey, you see, you see a son, you know, that, yeah, you, man. That, that you haven't been living with. So even that is gonna be joined onto you or daughter. It's lucky I'm talking about sons. I only have sons. Mm -hmm. So I don't have the experience with daughters, but some brothers have daughters. Hey, 
you come into the chariot, you see your your um, your son or daughter that was uh, still born. Hey. Okay. They're princes. You the king, they're princes. That's why you are at the time, man. My my worldly name means the king. But to the spirit, my name is Tasaba Shar, man. But y'all at the side is gonna be Malak Tasaba in the kingdom, man. Okay. Okay. Malak Tasaba. They're gonna be dope, man. King King <laughs> The King of the I, I don't even know how what the meaning would be the king. Hosts of armies. Yeah. Maybe think about uh, Joab. Because we're not kings yet. We're not kings yet. We, we, we. The Lord Jehoshaphat hasn't received. He gets glory from his men. But the ultimate glory from the world, he hasn't received that yet. That's why uh, Yahushua in the book of St. John, chapter 17, he said, I wish that they which thou hast given me be with me that they may behold my glory. Okay? So he prays for that. Mm -hmm. But it's all about waiting. But guess what's going to happen when we come into the chariot and the Lord Yahushua stands there? Hey. Waiting. And we'll be like, hey, man, man, I'm going to break down and cry, maybe, man. <laughs> I'll be like, hey. Yeah, man. He has his men with him now. Lord is gonna be happy to see us. Yeah, man. Yahusha is gonna be happy to see his men. Okay. okay. The number of thy days I will fulfill. So the numbers of the days of Yahushua are gonna be fulfilled, man. Yahushua is not gonna allow barrenness or miscarriage or abortions in the kingdom. You. No, when 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 your wife says hey, she pregnant, when your wife says she pregnant, now she's gonna be. <laughs> Thought I pulled out on time, man. <laughs> <laughs> My pull out game is not so strong, man. Man, your pull out game is weak. <laughs> be like shit, is this really from this one time that I busted in it, man? <laughs> Looking at the time. Shit. What am I doing, man? Another child, man. Pray, pray, I pray. I pray my, my, uh, I pray my children gonna be safe in those days, man. You know? So, you're not enjoying your wife getting pregnant. But guess what? In the kingdom, you're gonna have three wives coming together. Hey, you wanna tell your son? Yeah, man. No envy. And I said three, but that's only for that day. Yeah. The other day is also three or four or five or six coming to me. You child too. Beautiful. Beautiful man. I read this article. One of the brothers posted it. But one man produces enough. to make all the females on the earth pregnant. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah, man. Think about that. Yeah, man. Think about it. Think about it. Who says that? Apostle, <laughs> Apostle Tahar. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Apostle Aramla. Yeah. Always say that. Think about, Think about it. it. Yeah, man. Think about that, man. Uh, I, was, I was thinking about um, the, the chick from West Africa that had multiple wives that, that, man, that all being against the thing. The tranny. Yeah. tranny. Yes. 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 I was thinking about the, the, the African, so-called African, the Israelite man that had multiple wives and then he showed them off. I think they all had purple or pink, yeah, all of them were pregnant at yeah. the same time. Yeah. That's, that's going to be us in the kingdom. In, the hour, in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. All at once. Yeah, like man. America would be like, yeah. Pulling each other hair, they, they no, were man. crazy. If he was parading it and they was in order, you know, so exactly. in the belly, like hey. <laughs> you have to think about it. Why are there so many side chicks? Because there's there is not enough men for these females to all have a relationship. Done, you know? done. There are more fe females on the earth than yeah, men. Man. And it's it, it's well, in certain countries that's a known fact. Mm -hmm. That's why in uh, called Eritrea, mm -hmm. you must marry at least two two females. Yeah, You're man. not allowed.
allowed to just have one. You must marry two. You see? Got no problem with that? No. <laughs> shouldn't have no problem with that. But now I do have a problem with it because these, these females are pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this kingdom. You're just going to get more hell upon yourself. That's right. Isaiah, the 40 verse, uh, verse 11. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom, which the bosom represents the chariot. Okay, the Heavenly Father is going to take, take up his flock and, 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 and lead them and take them up in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Shall gently lead those that are with young. So the brothers and two sisters that have children in this group, those children are going to be gently led in the time of trouble. So you got to have that faith too. Like if it happens that you, you have a newborn children, you know, in these last days upon this earth, man, you have to have the faith that Jehovah Hashem Yoshai is going to gently lead those that are with child, man. He's going to take care of you, man. He's going to help you out in these latter days, man. Yeah, man, you got to have that faith. But it's still, it's it's not a pleasant feeling to, to, re, to hear, your, hear your wife say, hey, I'm pregnant again. Not now, man. Not, not in this now. time, you'll be like... You're not gonna build a house when you know a storm is coming, right? Exactly. Because you know your house is gonna be destroyed, man. Okay? You're gonna build it when the storm is fast. So that's what, what we desire to do also. But sometimes, hey, you have to also understand, like, you have people, they are trying years and years and years to get pregnant. True. And with you, it just happens, man. Yeah. Most I all might just want to have certain children come back in the spirit, certain mm -hmm. people to come back in the spirit through you to make it into the kingdom also. That's true. You know, as your lineage. The most I might just ordain it like that. We don't know why the most I does these things, but I've seen a lot of brothers in these day, in these days that are in the truth getting children. Mm -hmm. It's not normal. Like even in this camp it was a baby boom. <laughs> Brothers had no children, all of a sudden they have five. <laughs> what is going on? What's going on? What's going Started on? Started to sing like Marvin Gaye. Yeah, yeah man, so... Um, that was finished, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, give me, okay, give me the, 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 the demon. Yeah, but I hadn't got it. This is Mark 5, verse 1. Uh, let me... Yeah, let me... quick. This is Mark 5, verse 1. And they came over onto onto the other side of the sea into the country of gatherers gatherinum gatherings gatherings pursue and when he was come out of the ship immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit so the man had a demon on him who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could find him no not with chains yeah this man was super strong because of the demon that was on him. No, no, nobody could bind him. He would just break the shackles. Because that he had been often bound with feathers and chains, and the chains had been flung asunder by him, and the feathers broken in pieces. Yeah, he just breaks it, man. You know, he 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 get tied up with all kinds of chains around his neck and everything, and he just breaks it. <laughs> That's the power of those demons. Yeah, now, now you can understand what these people like Dynamo, uh, David Blaine have upon them. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. they, they are in chains under the water. Yeah. And they, they, they free themselves out of it. Mm -hmm. who, who gives them that power? Those demons. Man. Listen, demons, man. They're and demons. what happened when um, Dynamo went to Haiti? They wanted to... They wanted to kill him, man. Yeah, man. Because they know that that's uh, dark magic. Man. Yeah, God. They know that it's uh, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. The Haitians was like, get out of here with mm -hmm. that shit. And he was like, no, it's just a trick. No, no man. man. You can't fool these people. No, man. They are, they are people that are amongst the uh, the works of darkness. Man. God. Because that's a curse that is laid upon the children of Simeon and Levi. And Levi, God. Yeah, give me that real quick. Go, just go to Genesis 49. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Genesis chapter 49, verse 5. Simeon and Levi are brethren. 
instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Yeah, and the instruments of cruelty represents this voodoo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so amongst uh, uh, amongst the uh, Levi and Simeon, you have voodoo. Okay, instruments of cruelty, and they use it against each other. Man. Yeah, man. Like even in the Caribbean islands, Saint Martin, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, you have um, Haitians and um, and Simeonites too. And even there, they're fighting against each other with witchcraft, man. Yeah, no. yeah, man. The brother had a, a story of this um, voodoo priest, her daughter. You know, the Benjamites, they were touching on her and stuff, <laughs> trying to do something with her sexually. And then she got angry, and the next day, the brothers woke up with all kinds of rashes on their face, man. And then they went to the, to the and that was the daughter of the Simeonite uh, woman that was a voodoo priest. Then they went to the Levite woman, to the Le Levite um, uh, woman that went that lives up the hill, mm -hmm. and they went there. And then the uh, the, the Levite woman was like, "Oh, the Simeonite uh, uh, witch did this." And then they uh, she healed them with the with the thing mm -hmm. with the you no know, salt cream, mm -hmm. you know, mixture of herbs. Oops. Mm -hmm. She healed them, took it away, and the mother of the brother was even flipping like. You did something with the Simeonite, uh, <laughs> not the Simeonite, but the Dominican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. like, yeah. yeah. Me are fucked up. Me are fucked up. <laughs> you are you fucked know? up. <laughs> and all the boys had it. All the boys had rashes in their face, man. And then it was a certain battle between the Simeonite woman and the Levite mm -hmm. woman. Because now the Simeonite woman, she knew that, oh, you're trying to help them? The ones that have put the voodoo on, you want to help them? Mm -hmm. So that's those instruments of cruelty. So when David Blaine and stuff went, uh, uh, or Dynamo, one of the two went to Asia, uh, or Haiti, we call it Asia, uh, but Haiti, then uh, they knew immediately, man, this is witchcraft, this is evil, the works of darkness, man. Okay, so go back. So that's the demonic power, and mm -hmm. that man had demonic power too. Yeah, this is part five. Uh, continuing in four, and the feathers broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Yeah, man, he was too strong. Verse five, and always, and always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. See, he was cutting himself with stones. Stones. That's that demon man that puts that the spirit on him to hurt himself. Man. And that's what I spoke about earlier. Like these people that cut themselves, those gothics. They cut themselves because they have demons entities Gun. on them, man. So you have people that have certain powers, and those powers are, uh, uh, they got them from those demons. Then you have people that hurt themselves, they get that power from demons. Gun. Okay? Giving them the imagination that that's a good thing this, to do. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I saw in this one movie, this female had a demon on her. <laughs> and what she saw was a demon pulling on her arm. And she had a sharp stone and she wanted to but cut, cut off the off demon. The but there was no demon there. Whoa. So she was cutting herself. <laughs> now that is that Genjitsu, man. That's yeah. that delusion. Mm -hmm. Thinking something is happening, but it's not it's happening. happening. That's really what it is, man. So we pray all about Shimon Shai deliver us out of this time from Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord Jehovah is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Yeah, man. Yahabashimio, the day of Yahabashimio shines upon us, man. Yeah. Even the voice of the day of the Lord Jehovah. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, yeah. The mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. These men that are claim to be powerful and, and, and are something uh, in this world, the they are going to cry, man. Yeah, the day is the day of wrath, the day of trouble and distress. Yeah, man, it's not going to be easy, man. It's going to be a day of trouble and distress. And the people nowadays are already in distress, man. They're already panicking, but this is nothing yet. You know, the, the mirth is just taken away from the earth. Here, here you have it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let destruction come upon this place. That's what we pray upon, man. That's yeah, man. Hope upon. Because that brings the kingdom to us, man. Bring terror. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. Yeah. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities. Yeah, man, because you they have alarms here in Holland. When something is not right, alarm goes off mm -hmm. throughout the whole country. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna happen too, man. 
when when riots break out, when sedition among men is doesn't have a meaning, rise up uh, against the government. And and um, the uh, the premier from Holland, he said, Holland is not of riots. Holland is the country. He said the people that picked up rooms to clean up the mess from the riots. That is Holland. That is Holland. Yeah. Not the people. Not the people that caused the riots. That's not Holland. They're criminals. Listen. Wait for it. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. You will soon find out what the mind state of the people here and all of this. They're going to rise up against the government. Yeah. That's the sedition among men that's going to be fulfilled in this place, man. You see? Mm -hmm. Finish it. And against the high towers. Mm -hmm. Now, I will bring the stress upon men that they should walk like blind men because they have sinned against the word of power and their blood shall be poured out as dust in their flesh. It's the dung. Yeah, man. So mm -hmm. why are they gonna walk around as blind men? Because they don't have the light. That's right. Without the light, you cannot see. Right. You're gonna stumble. You're gonna trip. Try. Tr have you ever tried? Uh, uh, you know, coming in your house and keeping the lights off. You're gonna stumble, man. Yeah. That was it. So yeah, mm -hmm. man. With that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahweh. Shai. Ba'ashem. Rakakadash. Ba'ashem. Rakakadash. Double answer to the elder apostle, great millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, check that. Mm -hmm. It's cool.